Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We've got 21 high school basketball games coming your way tonight, plus the walleye are at home to start a big weekend. But we start tonight with our game of the week. We are going with a big battle in the NLL on the girls' side. Napoleon still undefeated, but Southview hoping to claw their way back into title contention. Napoleon at number two in Ohio. These two teams played back on December 10th. Napoleon won that game by 15, so would tonight be any different? South, you've got things going early. Charnay Merrill in transition. Great feed into Holly Barnett. She lays it up and in for two. But Napoleon would turn it on, pushing the pace. Taylor Strock pushes it up court. So they give it right back to her. She pushes it up from way deep, nails a three ball. Cougars trying to keep this one close right before the half. Merrill over to Sierra Harris, drains a three. South you down eight at the break. In the second half, Napoleon showing why they are undefeated. Shea Pedroza, their senior leader, throws up the deep ball. That's nothing but net. And Southview had no answer for Kaylee Wrestler. She had 14 to lead the way. Napoleon wins 46-33. And Christy Kopanis has more from Southview. Well, record-wise, Southview was the closest competition for the Napoleon Wildcats who came into tonight undefeated. Southview only trailed by single digits in the first half. But in the second half, Napoleon showing why they are the best team in the NLL. They moved to 17-0. It feels so good. I mean, we prepared all week for it, and um, we knew that they were going to play hard the whole game. So it just feels really good to come out with a win. Um, you know, we talked about it. So it's a very, very big win. Um, one of the bigger regular season wins, um, really, in, in our program. Um, and for us, you know, we just want to continue to work hard. We want to get better every day, and if we feel if we do that, um, we'll be in the right spot at the end of the year. I mean, we didn't. We just wanted to stick with our game, and it's worked all year. So we just wanted to do what we did best, and I thought they got up and really tried to pressure us a lot more, and it gave us a few problems, but we adjusted to that. Now Napoleon's next hurdle comes on Thursday when they welcome in Perrysburg, who they defeated earlier in the season. Reporting from Southview tonight, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. Chrissy, thanks. The Perrysburg girls also chasing Napoleon atop the NLL standings. Big rivalry showdown with Maumee tonight. There we go. Skip ahead here. Kylie Griggs right there. And then more from the Jackets. Off the inbounds, Wilhelm tries a three, won't go, but Bella Valiant showing the toughness, lays it up and in. Jackets win it 64 to 18. Next stop in the NLL, Springfield on the road. Blue Devils in Sylvania to take on Northview. The Northview dance team entertaining the home crowd. Second quarter, Lady Cats in transition. Casey Baumauer, nice bounce pass to Maddie Taylor. She finishes strong. Later, Baumauer drives into the key, then kicks it out to Maya Creech, top of the key, nails a shot. And then Baumauer shows us she's not just an assist machine, she can score all on her own as well. Nice move between defenders. Northview girls win at home 64 to 37. And our final stop in the NLL on the girls' side, Bowling Green making the trip to White House to take on Anthony Wayne. Generals rolling early off a miss. Kelsey Reagan with the board, knocks it out, kicks it out to Sam Schofield, who knocks down a three. She had 26, eight up at up nine at the half. Second half, BG keeping it close. Trena Wiseman Esparza. Doing it herself, pulls up from just inside the arc. The bank open on a Friday night. Bobcats right in this thing, but the general's too much. Schofield tries the three, won't fall, but Peyton Miller there on the offensive glass. Anthony Wayne wins at 49-32. Boys side now, starting the track. Lima Senior in first place. They are in town taking on St. Francis. Knights down early, trying to get something going. Over to the wing, Stephen Kuaku. Lines up a three ball and buries it. And then later, it's Kuaku with some good defense, pokes it loose from a Spartan, puts it back up and in, but to get the basket plus the foul, but Lima Senior really good. The future BG Falcon, Josiah Fulcher, breakaway slam, just one of his highlight dunks on the night. St. Francis would fall in this one, 72-63. Good one here, battle for second place in the Three Rivers. Central Catholic down in Finley to take on the Trojans. Trojans on offense here, Isaiah Moore kicks it up top to Brock McCranty. Drives to the paint, pulls up for a short jumper, he gets that to fall. Irish now. Dominique Cole, nice bounce pass to the cutting Cameron Alls. He lays it up and in. And then on the other end, Trojans, A.J. Adams kicks it out to Chris Stremka. Knocks down a baseline jumper, but Central Catholic would win it in thrilling fashion. They beat Finley tonight, 55 to 52. St. John's trying to chase down the leaders in the track. Titans home with Fremont Ross. They went into double overtime in their last time out. Second quarter, Ross with the ball, but C.J. Hornbeek steals it. 
He has one defender to beat, takes it coast to coast, lays it up and in for two. Later, Hornbeak almost gets another steal, but Mike Lather keeps control. Then LeBron's Barnett down low pass to Caden Holmes. He would finish it from there. Other end, not a clean pass here from Jaden McKinstry, but Kennedy Vaughn manages to get the ball and he would finish it for two Titans win 83 to 43. Last stop on the track, couple teams that could certainly use a win. The Whitmer Panthers on the road taking on Clay. Eagles would come out hot in this one. Derek Bolander, the feed to a cutting Scott Woolard. He flies in and floats it up for the easy two. On the other end, Whitmer getting the offense going. Tony Delvo kicks a pass out to the wing for a wide open Riley Keller. He splashes down a three ball. But the Clay Eagles would find a way in this one. It's the Woolard to Bolander connection again. This time Bolander would finish it though. Clay gets the win 52 to 42. Boys side in the Northern Lakes League now. Perrysburg still unbeaten in conference play. Rivalry showdown with Maumee. Fast start for the Panthers. David Walker showing off the handle. Takes it strong to the bucket. He would absorb some contact. Gets a tough lay in. He had 15. Panthers up early. But Perrysburg just too strong. Work it to Drew Sims. They leave him alone. He pulls up for a short jumper. That would fall. He had 11. Jackets starting to roll. And then more from Perrysburg. Zach Miller, strong drive along the baseline, bucket plus a foul. Perrysburg wins at 79-48. Southview just a game back of the Jackets in the standings. Cougars welcoming in Napoleon. First half, Sean Millington. Working it, bounce pass in the paint to their big man, A.J. Jump. He would get the easy two. Napoleon gets off to a slow start, but they would get going here. Ball over to a wide open, Gavin Brubaker. Takes a shot from deep and knocks it down. Southview just too much tonight, though. Good passing here. That would open up Grant Paul down low for a lay-in. Southview wins it 51 to 35. Springfield and Northview right in the middle of the pack in the NLL. Blue Devils in Sylvania. Sean Craig ready to roll at home. First quarter, Jasari Williams with the ball. Drives, pump fakes, and then knocks it down for the Blue Devils. First score of the game. Then later, Sean Craig gets a ball down low. He posts up around two defenders. Neely loses it but manages to score a hard-earned field goal. Then it's Williams with it again. This time, across the key. Knocks it down. Springfield wins a close one on the road, 57-52. to And the last stop tonight in the Northern Lakes League. Anthony Wayne has lost a couple heartbreakers recently. Generals welcoming in Bowling Green. Generals out and running in transition. Jacob Copley to Bobby Miller. Can't leave him open. Drops a three. Anthony Wayne up early. BG would keep it close. Clock running out first half. Let's see Ryan Jackson. He goes baseline. Check out the tough finish. Just beats the buzzer. Bobcats right in this thing, but Anthony Wayne just too much. Zach Zool deflects it to Miller. Right back to Zool. Easy bucket. Generals win it 55-42. All right, time for our first break of the night. When we come back, we head to the City League. The Rogers Rams playing some outstanding basketball. They are number two in Ohio. Tonight they were at Woodward. We'll have those highlights and more when we return on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday.